Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Rock Church. We're here live uh, in Warsaw, Litchfield Street. So we'd like to welcome you. Great to see so many people online. We've got Nick Hunt and Carol and Adam, Janet, and Karen, Gifty, Charles, Mel, uh, Precious, Joy, Tracy, Becky, Suzanne, Sherry, Oh, who else we got? Oh, there's more joining now. Victor, good to see you. Wayne, Janet. Amen. Great to see everyone. If you can hear us okay and all the sounds all cool, would you just um, light up that like button? Let us know that you can hear us. Let us know that you can see us okay. And, uh, and then we're going to hand over to worship. We're going to have a, a great time this morning in God's presence. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Alan. Good to see you, sir. Saku, good to see you. William, good to see you, Victor. Can you see us okay, Victor, and hear us okay? Just let us know. Uh, we're here this morning. We're excited to be in God's presence. We're excited to be um, worshiping together, and we're so blessed to have Conrad and Sarah Gail with us again, and they're going to lead us, and they're doing a great job. Good morning, Mel. Becky says you can hear perfect. Thanks, Becky. Thank you very much. Amen. Shall we just pray and then we'll just let people come online and just gather a few more people. We've got 38 people or 38 homes online at the moment. So let's pray and then we're going to hand over to the worship team. Father, we thank you. Lord, and we bless your name. We invite you, Holy Spirit, here. We invite you to come and minister to us and come and speak to us. Uh, Lord, we hand over this time and this gathering to you. And we say, Holy Spirit, in people's homes, Lord, will you just bless them? And when you just favor them, Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, this morning, we're going to worship God. We're going to have a couple of songs of worship. And I want to come up and share um, a psalm with you. Uh, we haven't got words for the song at the moment. Uh, we'll try and get them on there. But at the moment, um, you just have to worship. There's no words at the bottom, but there'll be songs that you'll be familiar with. And even if you don't know the song, you can just worship anyway to it. Great. 42 people online now. Are you ready, Karen? <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. Are you ready? Are you ready to worship? Are you ready to give God the praise? Well, let's just give an um, online clap, round of applause to show our appreciation. Uh, just press that like button uh, for Comrade and Sarah as they lead us in worship. And let's just shout and praise by pressing that button right now. And we hand over to Comrade and Sarah. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory, we give God all the praise and the honor this morning. Are you ready to worship? When for rises, we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength for rises, we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength for right as we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Our God, who reigns forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, you are.
just give him glory. Yeah. If God been good to you,
Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Verse 7 then goes on to say, Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected, he has become the chief cornerstone. He's our God. He's our Savior. And he's our King. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, good morning, church, and we'd like to welcome you to the Rock Church. We're going to continue to worship. Don't escape, comrade. Don't escape, Sarah. We're going to continue to worship. They're trying to escape. We won't let them escape, church. Uh, just great to see so many people online. Vanessa, good to see you. Um, Helen, good morning. Good to see you as well. Isn't it wonderful to worship our God and worship our King? So we welcome you here. Uh, just let me pray a blessing as we continue to worship, as we continue to lift up our voice. Let's pray a blessing upon your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for favor and we pray for blessing over every person under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray that you increase them. Right now, you put your loving arms around them and God, you just touch them in a mighty way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Well, good morning, church. I don't know how your week's been. We are in, I think it's day number, is it 47 now of lockdown? Or is it even 48? Anybody know? Nick? 47? I think it might even be 48. 48. So we've been in lockdown for 48. So this is church um, as we've never experienced it before. But isn't it great that we can still gather together here? And we've got Comrade behind and, and Sarah with us. And, and I'm just looking at the camera angle now. They look really small, don't they? they? I look like a giant and they look tiny, right? So they're like pocket versions of Comrade and Sarah. <laughs> so they're going to lead us in worship. And, and we've got a couple of more songs of worship. I just want to encourage you, even though you're in your house and even though that you're, you're at home and it just feels like normal because you're at home, and make your home feel like church this morning amen uh, stand to your feet and and kick off your slippers and get ready to dance and, and worship and praise him because he's worthy of our praise great to see so many people that join every single night at eight o'clock and we want to encourage you to do that we've gone through the book of psalms and uh, it, every single night of lockdown we open up the word of god and the psalm we read last night was so encouraging and exciting it was clap your hands and it was shout for joy uh, for God is an awesome God. And, and so the psalmist talks about us lifting our voices up and clapping. And it says the reason we clap and the reason why we shout with shouts of joy is that our God is awesome. And last night we claimed back that word awesome. So we took it back off the uh, Americans that call a hamburger awesome and call everything awesome, awesome, awesome. And we actually said, you know, the only thing that we can call, the only person we can call awesome is Jesus Christ. So we've claimed back the, uh, the word awesome. So this morning you can sing about how awesome God is as we celebrate our mighty God. So uh, Comrade Sarah, we hand back over to you. Stay blessed, grab your family around. We're gonna worship him. We're gonna sing two songs of worship. And after these two songs, there's gonna be like a short seven, 10 minute sermon, right? And so get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself ready. Um, but this morning, we're not gonna prolong our time together, right? We're gonna have, uh, you know, it's not gonna be a long drawn out service. So we're not having, 20 30 songs of worship we've got two more songs of worship so there's no chance to warm up don't have any warm-up songs sometimes we come to church and we wait for the first or second song and then we warm up get straight into it get worshiping and get praising god in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah 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 isn't god a great god and hallelujah and he is above all, above all circumstances, above all pain and destruction in your life. He is above them all. Above all power, above all king, above all nature, and all. 
time to just worship him you are worth thank you lord for being at the center of it all Oh, 
appreciation of Jesus being the center of your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Well, we thank you, comrades, and uh, Sarah for leading us um, in worship. Jesus, be the center of our life. Amen. Well, guys, just take your seat a moment. Um, this morning, we're going to talk about doors. And there's doors in our life that God opens and God closes. There's some really exciting doors. And uh, today's, this morning's sermon is about one particular door. Uh, that is maybe not the most exciting door in your life. It's not one that you want to walk through. But it's a door that will radically affect and change your life. So sit back, uh, grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee. Um, and we're gonna, I'll be back with you in about 7 to 10 minutes. And uh, I hope this message encourages you and it blesses you.
Good morning, church. Uh, this weekend, I've been painting doors, and when I was painting doors, it got me thinking about the different doors that God opens and closes in our life. So, do me a favor. This door here is the front door. I've already painted the back door. So, give me a hand to put this door back on, and then we'll go inside and we'll talk about God opening doors. This morning we're going to talk about doors in your life. There's many doors that God opens and doors that God closes. In life, life itself is full of many opportunities and many doors. Some doors are great positive doors, doors of breakthrough. Doors that when you open them, you go to a new level. There's the blessing of God on them, there's the favor of God. But there's also negative doors in your life. I just want to spend just five minutes of your time just to look at one door in the Bible that in fact wasn't a positive, but it was a negative. And one door in the Bible is sin. And if you go into Genesis chapter 4 with me, and just take, the, take your Bible, there's a story here about Cain and Abel. Now, Adam um, and his wife, Eve, she became pregnant, it says in verse 4, and she gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later, she gave birth to Abel. So we have a story here of Cain and Abel, their brothers in the Bible. And it says, now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. And it says, in the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. Abel, he also brought, verse 4, an offering of fat portions uh, from his firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but Cain, it says, and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain became very angry, and his face was downcast. And the Lord said to him, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Verse 7 If you do what is right, you will. If you do what is right, you will be accepted. But if you do what is wrong, it says that sin is crouching at the door and it desires to have you, but you must roar over it. One of the doors in the Bible is sin and anger. Now, anger would always open you up to sin. The Bible is very clear here and it says that sin is crouching at your door. Let me tell you, church, that today as we walk through our journey with God, always be on guard for sin. Because if you walk through that door of sin, then it would open up a room that you do not want to be in. So let's have a look at what exactly here was the sin. Well, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. And if you look at verse 11, it just describes a little bit the two different offerings. It says, now, faith is the confidence... In what we have for and assured about what we do not see. Uh, this is what our ancestors were commended for. Verse 3. By faith we understand that the universe was formed of God's command. So that what is seen was not made of what was visible. By faith. Verse 4. Abel brought God a better offering than Cain. By faith. It was commended as righteousness when God spoke well of his offering. And by faith, Abel still speaks even though he is dead. Being um, grieved 
being angry, uh, being jealous, these are the doors that opened up in this story of Cain and Abel. Now Abel brought a better offering, Abel brought an offering, um, he kept animals, he brought the offering of the best to God. And, and he, he brought the, the fat offering of the firstborn and we find that, that uh, it says in Hebrews 11 that uh, faith, um, Abel brought uh, a better offering. But Cain, his heart wasn't totally focused on God. So Cain brought his offering, and even though it was something, it wasn't the best of what he could have brought. Well, God saw the heart, and let me tell you that God always looks at your heart. And when he saw the heart, he actually said, well, hold on a minute. <laughs> he actually lifted up Abel, and he lifted him up, uh, and Cain became angry. And I just want to just look at a couple of things here, if you're taking down notes. Um, let me tell you a couple of things that can, that can cause you and I to become like Cain or Abel in the story. Um, by faith, Abel brought a better offering. Uh, we operate and we talk by faith. But let me tell you how walking through a door... Um, of sin can be like a cane. Number one, if you're being grieved at someone else's blessing, right? If you're grieved at someone else's blessing, if you feel that why do they have and I don't have, then you're becoming like a cane. If you don't put God first, you're walking through that door like Cain did. Um, the Lord said to Cain, where is your brother Abel? A little bit later. Because we know what happened in the story. I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? Because of the anger that Cain had, right, he killed Abel. And then when God challenged him, he said, well, uh, how do I know? And one of the things we've seen in our life is that we always blame somebody else. If you walk through that door of sin, that door of anger, that door of jealousy, then you would do actions and you would think of things that aren't healthy, aren't good. And if you're ever challenged by God, you always blame somebody else. Don't become uh, somebody who always blames. Don't start to play that blame game. Cain said to the Lord, uh, after in verse, t in verse 10, it says, The Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse. You are driven from the ground, uh, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be restless, wanderer on earth. And Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too much than I can bear. And today you're driving me out uh, from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be restless, wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me will kill me. And then he, uh, God says, I will protect you even though you've been rebellious to me. Now, there's other doors that we want to look at. There's other doors that we can walk through. There's doors of faith. There's doors of breakthrough. But before we go on to those doors, I just want to leave this with you. One of the greatest doors that we don't like to think about, but the greatest doors that will have the biggest impact in your life is sin. If jealousy rises up, if anger rises up, if greed rises up and you walk through that door, you will become like a Cain and Abel scenario where you will end up killing your brother, even though it may not be physically, but in your thoughts and in your heart. And Jesus said, even if you look, even if you think, even if you desire to do harm on someone, you're as guilty. So let me tell you this before we're going to move on in the next uh, a few weeks and we can look at more doors. But I need to set the foundation of one of the greatest doors that doesn't sound great because when you say great you think of positive. But one of the greatest doors that would affect your life is that door of sin. Sin is like a crouching tiger 
that's trying, wanting and desiring to devour you. Don't allow the devil to devour you today. Don't allow the devil to attack you today. Be on your guard and bring your offering to God. But make sure that it's a full offering. It's not a half-baked offering. Bring the best of the best because he is worthy. Over the next few weeks, we'll look at a few more doors. We'll look at some ones that are more positive. But let's just put this in as a foundation to say, you know what? The devil wants to take me down, but I know the truth tricks of the devil and I'm not having it. If anger rises up in your heart, if fear rises up in your heart, if jealousy rises up in your heart, if greed rises up in your heart, lock it down. Right, say no to it, right? that sin will not have a foothold in your life. Now we'll move on over the next few weeks, but be encouraged and be blessed that that door in your life, that door that could affect you so much, that door of sin, you and I will not walk through it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, well, there you go, guys. I hope that uh, that blessed you. Uh, make sure that the door of sin is not active in your life. Right, we're going to just uh, spend one more time, one moment, sing a one more worship song. And this is going to be our tithes and offering for all those people that give. Really appreciate you giving. There will be a link if you've never given before, but you want to support the Rock Church. You want to support the ongoing uh, commitments and costs that we have on outreach. We're spending money uh, to reach out across the airways and if you want to partner with us and support us and you want to be obedient in your tithe then we do really appreciate it and we thank everybody who does give and who does tithe so normally on a Sunday now we would pass the offering basket around this is our passing of the offering basket but of course it's electronic now so to help you out we're going to put a link inside the comments in about two minutes or a minute or so, you'll see a link in the comments. You can press that link and you can just give directly on that link. It's very easy. Uh, for those people who want to do a standing order and direct debit, then there's bank details also um, on the Facebook and on the Rock Church. But there's a link there. It makes it really easy. Just press that link. It's a very easy process to give money and we do appreciate. So let's continue to worship and let's lift our voices up and we're going to sing, My God is Awesome. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Do you believe that? You gotta sing this in your homes right now too. Yeah. We can worship him, yeah. Because he's awesome. Always busy opening doors. Every door will be kicked down. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Isn't he great? My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. Let's sing that again. My God is awesome, he can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the
my God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Praise is what it is. Let's just sing awesome. My God is awesome. Awesome. He is awesome. Yes, he is. Come on now. Yes, he is awesome. My God is awesome. Stand to your feet. Awesome. He is awesome. Yes, he is. One more time, church, come on. My God is awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. Yes, he is awesome. My God is awesome. He is, he is awesome. Yes, he is. Come on. He is awesome. Yes, he is. Come on, one more time. My God is awesome. Awesome. He is awesome. Yes, he is awesome. My God is awesome. Amen. Well, church, we conclude our time together as our online service.